good. We're here with uh, another interview, this time with uh, Luminosity's Gabriel Fallen Toledo. Uh, Fallen, how's your ESL1 experience so far? Uh, so far, has been uh, everything was great. Since the first match and since the uh, hotel structure, the stream is perfect. Okay, let's take a quick look at the group stage. Um, you managed to beat, uh, you managed to advance to the winners' uh, match. And uh, what happened? What happened between uh, the, the overtime against Envious? Yeah, uh, about Envious, I think we lost after the pause. Being honest, not yeah. over overtime because on the overtime we, we had two rounds that could have been ours. I lost the shot against Kenyas. I just moved it, just yeah. exactly point came, and the third round. Cold forgot to defuse the bomb because he didn't saw that I was dead. So he came into the sniper for no reason and lost it. So I think over time was a bit of unlucky. But after the pause, when you were 13-11 for us, uh, we knew what they were going to do. We prepared ourselves for it, but it just better. They just old aim at us. So I think they deserve it. That's all. Your helping has been on point since uh, ever since the beginning of the event. What can you tell us about the shot against uh, Apex that everybody has been talking about? Yeah, that shot was kind of really lucky. I mean, when I killed the first guy, I knew that I was supposed to have another one close to the door. But I just felt, you know, yeah. if I hit now, I will kill him. And it just happened. And after that kill, I just, oh, no, now I have to get this round. Jesus, what, what I did. But Bolts on TeamSpeak, he made me felt back on my decision. Because he said, you have no defuse kit. So I got rushed, and then I started walking, and Kenny has yeah. killed me. Okay. So unfortunately, but it was a crazy shot indeed. It was, so a, bre it was a breathtaking shot, yeah. Uh, you played Cobblestone again against Flipside in the decider match. Um, what, what did you do to counter, to counter Blade's play? Because he, he picked you apart in a few rounds, and they actually managed to take you to a second overtime. Yeah, exactly. Blade played no point on this match. I think Mark Loff played really well too. Uh, actually, I saw the game yesterday after coming back to the hotel and on the T on the T side, even the the rounds were losing, we were like with the round one. Like sometimes we caught one or two kills and then we suddenly lost a lot of people. So we just needed to keep calm and believe it till the end. Because it was 15-12 for them and we retrieved ourselves. So just keep confident and calm because everything can happen in Counter Strike. Uh, what can you tell us about your sniping? What is it that you keep fragging so much and you're also leading the team? Yes, uh, on the past two lineups, I have, been, I have not been the premier Alper because I had two other Alpers, great Alpers on my team and I want them to do their best. I wanted them to play with their, the gun that they trusted more. But right now with Cold joining the team, or left or Alper has left, so I assume they up again. And I have no problems leading the team and Alping. I think I have a, enough experience for it. And I think it's just Brax, man. Yeah. I'm happy that I'm, ge I'm getting on point again. It has been so amazed since I do some shit. So I'm happy to be giving confidence to my team again. Yeah. Um, you're the only Brazilian team. Actually, you're the only American team to make it to the playoffs. Um, how are your chances or how have you prepared against uh, your match against Fnatic today? Uh, once again, we meet Fnatic. I think this time we have a better chance because we are a better team. Indeed, Cold had so much skill. And being honest, we practice a lot against Fnatic. We know how they play. I think they know how we play too because we practice a lot against each other. But Fnatic is a unique team. They play different. So it's all about knowing what they're going to do. And they are always trying to aggro you. So we must be really ready for it. And let's see. We need to, have, we need to be on a good day to beat them. But it's definitely possible. Uh, what about the map pool against Fnatic? What, what maps do you want to play? Do you want to play Cobblestone again? We are open to play any map against them, honestly. Any map. You seem very confident. Thank you for your interview and thank you for your time. Are there any shout outs you would like to make? Yeah, of course. I'd like to thank everybody for cheering for us, everyone that's been supporting us. This is awesome. Thank you for the interview. Uh, thanks, ECL, for this awesome tournament. This atmosphere here is incredible. Also, thanks for the Brazilian and South American people that are cheering hard for us. Hope we can make you guys more proud. Thank you once again.